What's up, crypto community? Jaman, Mr. Solution. I don't know if this has happened to any of you before. You're on a trade and then you set a stop loss, which is expected. Because let's say you, you we are predicting the, that the market would go up and then you set a stop loss, which is what you should. And the market comes down, eats up your stop loss and then starts going up again. It's usually a very painful experience, okay? So while we can't be 100% certain of the market moves, of what the market would do in a given time frame, we can actually, there are some things we need to put in place to ensure that we don't get stopped out in the trade. And this thing I've discovered that a whole lot of us are putting this stop loss at the wrong places. Not that we are not putting it right, but then... There's something we are not observing. We are not observing what I call, you know, you are not focusing on where alternative energy, alternative force, okay, will come to act on the market. Conventionally, what people do is that assuming they are long, like they taking a they are taking a long position in a given trade, okay. So the ideal thing they do is to come back and put the stop loss at the support level, yes. Okay, you're taking a long position. The ideal thing they do is to come back and then put the stop loss at at the support level. This is a wrong approach. You're not supposed to put it there. You're supposed to kind of adjust a little bit in that your stop loss position. The reason is that you know market is nothing other than an interplay of action and reaction. Okay, so at every point in time, buyers are looking for places to buy, and where is the ideal place that buyers are coming into? Buyers are alri- always looking for support. Support levels are where buyers are always buying, and then resistant levels are where sellers are always selling. Okay, so if you don't have this thing at your f- at, f- at your fingertip, if you don't understand this thing very well, it will lead you to making a lot of m- trading mistakes uh, most of the times you get stopped out and all that okay so this is btc perpetual i'm using ftss exchange and please if you've not registered an account with ftss kindly do that i believe i'll be leaving my registration link at the description section of the video kindly register an account there and then you can join any of my social media channels especially my telegram where i do give trading insights okay not not financial advice okay just little things i'm discovering about the market i tend to share them there and then if you have any question any problem anything you want us to talk about you can always reach me through any of my social media channels my twitter my whatsapp and also you can contact me on telegram as well all of the links are at the description section of the video okay and please the last caveat i am not a financial advisor I've never been one. I've never taken any course on financial advice. So please, whatever thing you'll be learning from here, take it with a pinch of salt. Okay, remember that. Like I said, I'm not a financial advisor. Okay, and then I don't know it all. I don't brag as someone who knows it all. I'm a student of the market, and nobody has actually mastered this cryptocurrency market because it is a, it is still an evolving one. It is still growing. All right. So before me here is BTC Perpetual Futures, and then let's just do a little technical analysis on that to see what what we should be doing at this point in time i'm trying to draw my trend lines and i have these eh? okay i have this okay and then the second one let's say i have these as well uh, i have these as well okay so what's what sort of chart is this what sort of chart pattern is this all right let's not let's not bother about that okay so now this is this is the this is the chart i've drawn on what's on btc perpetuals okay and then let's say i am my uh, my bias is that we are gonna go down that's let's just say this is what i'm believing let me just finish up with uh, identifying the next support and resistance okay okay let's say this is the next support and then the next resistance should be around like okay, let's say this is the nearest resi- resistance so in other words market touched the resistance couldn't break above it and then it's starting to go down so let's say this is where i'm thinking that market could come okay let's say i believe it if you if it eventually cr- touches this very point okay that the next thing is that market will start going up okay in other words i want to put a buy at this What's the price? Thirty six thousand nine hundred and ninety seven. Okay, let's. I want to put a buy at this point. Let me change this color so that it doesn't confuse us. Change it to yellow. All right. So I'm putting a buy at thirty six thousand nine 
35,692 that's where my buy entry is will be so to say okay let's say i will be putting a buy entry here and then what is the next thing for me to do the thing is that for me to put my stop loss the idea thing is that i would be looking for a swing low okay and where is that let's say it is here okay i want to put my stop loss at this point i want to put stop loss at this very point now okay i want to put it at let me change this to another horizontal raise okay i want to put my stop loss here all right this is where i want my stop loss to be my stop loss is at thirty two thousand four hundred and eighteen dollars okay while this is ideal that why while this is okay i want to tell us the errors involved in placing your stop loss at exactly the support level okay the reason is that you are not the only person trading this you're not the only trader who is seeing this and you're not the only person who is able to you know analyze this chart and draw this kind of chart pattern okay so what it means is that at as it stands now many people are queuing up to buy here as they are queuing up there so also are many people queuing up at this very point okay so what does that tell us that tells us that there is a hundred percent probability that if price eventually hits okay remember this is our okay let's say this is our buy okay let's put our let's bring it a bit lower okay let's leave it at, let, let's leave it as it is here yeah? okay so as it stands now many people are queuing up to buy at this point many persons are queuing up to buy at this point make it many persons as well are queuing up to, to buy at this point okay these are all demand zones so many persons there are they actually demands here okay so it will be very wrong of you to come and put your stop loss here because like i said there is a hundred percent certainty that if price eventually hits this very point or hits this very spot it will reverse and start going up again there is also a hundred percent probability that if price eventually hits this thirty thousand four hundred and something it will reverse and start going up okay maybe it might not really get to this very point where it was but then there is a prob certainty i can guarantee that that if price eventually gets to this very point it's gonna make some moves even if it's gonna continue going down but definitely it will definitely make some move upwards before going down okay so how then are you supposed to put your stop loss where then is the right place for you to put your stop loss that brings us to one of the indicators i love to use very much that has helped me greatly in identifying the proper place to put my stop loss that indicator is none other than atr okay average true range atr average true range okay so go to your indicators go to this point indicators okay go to indicators type atr that's average true range okay look at it here it comes up okay then it's already there so how do you use it how do you use the atr okay still loading let's wait for it to come up all right so we have our atr indicator in our screen here okay look at it here. atr average true range that's the meaning of atr okay now how does it work first of all you have to trace the very value where this atr is okay point it follow it to follow your cursor to where it is pointing at currently the atr is pointing at what the value now okay it's 124.1884 let's roughly estimate it to 824 okay so now how does that help you how do you use it to okay put the proper stop loss okay remember like i said that you are taking a long position you're taking a long entry here okay and then you're trying to identify the proper place for you to stop loss put your stop loss in that case you're not putting your stop loss okay let's say you're entering at this very yellow line the, the yellow line is your entry point okay and then the ideal thing is to put your stop loss at the next support level okay so in other words you're not putting your stop loss exactly at this point okay you're not putting it here neither are you putting it here rather you're putting it as at a point and this is the last point okay you want to put it at the point where you know that your bias has been 100 percent invalidated and how do you know that check the very value of this last support here the, the very value is what does a this should be thirty thousand. let me change the color so that will be certain of what we are having okay let me change it to green okay changing it to green so that means this support we are having here is what thirty thousand four hundred and ninety okay so how do you now maximize this atr you have to deduct eight hundred and eight hundred and what eight hundred and forty four that was what we got here you have to deduct 
844 from 30,490. Let me quickly do the maths. When you deduct 80,000, 80, okay, deducting please 30,000, 30,490 minus 840, what? 844, I guess. Okay. So you'll be left with 29,646. So what that means is that if you're putting your stop loss, if you're trying to put your stop loss, you're not putting it at this point. You're putting it at where? You are putting it at 29,000. Should be something around there. 646, 29,646. Something around there. No, let me use this horizontal line. 29,600 and okay something uh, let's just leave it at this point okay so this is this yellow line let me change the color to blue okay the blue might not be very okay let me change it to this okay so your stop loss is what 29,600 and just 646 you could leave it at 682 it doesn't mean anything okay so what it means is that if price eventually gets out of this very place you're very very sure that your bias has been defeated you're very very sure that you're wrong so you want to be taken out of the market because if eventually hit it up this very point now the price eventually gets to this very point is actually looking for the next support okay and which is not easy to come by it could be at this very point but rather you rather get taken out of this trade and all that okay so the same thing ap is applicable to all of your trade this is how to properly put your stop loss anytime you're taking you're taking an entry okay even if you're if you're taking a short entry the same thing is, is also applicable let's say the market is at this point now let me raise this thing up market is at this point here is here Market is at forty thousand and ninety-eight dollars. Okay, you want to take a short entry. You believe market is not gonna go up any further. Okay, you believe that the next market is going to do will be to start going down. So where do you put your stop loss? The ideal place would be to what put it at the next what at the next resistance, which is what forty-two thousand one hundred and fifty-four. But that is wrong because there is a potency there or there's a probability that market could go up hit this hit up this very resistance and then start go start going down again how do you now put the proper stop loss still go back to the atr we talked about pull up your average true range atr okay pull up your atr check the value check the value that's around 830 now it's currently at 830 hypothetically let's just leave it at 830 okay so at 830 what you do is to do what uh, no this okay 42,154 what you do now is to add 42,000 it add that 830 to 42,154 that should be giving you what let me do the little arith arithmetic we have 42,154 okay add it to what 830 so you should have be having 42,984 so this is your stop loss would doesn't need to be here it you should rather be at what 42,984 42,000 okay let's just say roughly 43k because just a difference of what just a difference of 16 dollars okay you could just leave it at 43k okay so you want to be very very sure that if price eventually eats up that 43k that your you have be your bi your bias is wrong and the next thing would be for you to be taken out of the market okay so this is just how to properly st take a stop loss so that you don't get stopped out okay so that you don't keep complaining that ah i put my stop loss and then i was shaking out i was taken out of the market and then market reversed and started going up okay so this is a mistake i've discovered that a couple of a a lot of traders are making okay so i i consider it i do to talk about it and share with you guys my experience and what has actually been helping me so that i don't get unnecessarily stopped out out of my trade i hope the video has been educative enough you could like share talk about it tell people about what we are doing here and like i said you could reach out to me if you have any question concerning cryptocurrency trading my contact details will be at the description section of the video so you come your way again i remain your one and only mr solution